Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Twisby AL Mini Gold Fountain Pen. Now, this fountain pen I've inked up many, many, many times. <laughs> it holds quite a lot of ink um, for a small pen. It is what I would consider to be definitely more of a pocket pen. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a departure from the usual Twisby Ecos and... Uh, 580s things like that um it is a very nice little pen let's go over the parts of the pen to begin with now on the top we have this jewel with the twisby logo in there and inside some sort of plastic or resin metal uh finial. there is the clip here which is slightly arched and quite short fairly stiff quite a short clip you can see the cap here with the cap liner gray translucent cap liner inside there and the section which is gold it's gold color silver cap band down here with twisby and mini on the other side it is a piston filling fountain pen so um, I do have a uh, Twisby Vac Mini, and this is very, very similar. But this is a, the uh, AL Mini is a uh, is a um, piston filler, and we do have this sort of faceted barrel, which I'll rotate for your viewing thing. There we go. So it it, it is sort of diamond faceted along the barrel. We can see the piston here with the ink inside the barrel. Two black O-rings and the piston filling mechanism all the way up inside this clear colourless piston filling knob up here. There's nothing on that side of the, uh, of the end of the uh, piston filling knob. The pen comes standard Twisby box with the um, obligatory Twisby wrench to dismantle the pen and this pen does dismantle quite easily so you can take it all apart for cleaning and whatever uh, whatever other reason you want to dismantle the pen for greasing the o-rings things like that with silicone grease of which you do get the tiny bottle of Twisby's very low viscosity uh, silicone grease so it is a nice looking fountain pen. Let's compare it to size with this gold Lamy All Star. So you can see it is a good couple of centimeters shorter. Um, I will talk about how the uh, Twisby AL Mini Gold performs in a bit, but I'll just show you the size of the pens next to each other. Oop. Stay. There we go. So it's it's about an inch shorter than the Lamy All Star or Safari, if you like. Um, posted. This Twisby is definitely a pen to write with. Posted. It is marginally short. You can write with it on posted, which is you know it's comfortable, but it is a little bit on the short side. Now posting, it's a screw to post pen and this is the first problem I have with this particular pen because as you can see the clip is on the back and that's really quite annoying so what you have to do is find the right place to no and it's still not right so I screw to post and this is one of the reasons that I, there we go so it's not no it's still not in the right place so you know, there is, in my opinion, a real flaw with the uh, design of, there we go, finally in some sort of orientation where it's not, this clip isn't going to annoy me when I'm writing. And as you can see, posted, it becomes a full size, decent length fountain pen. There is a bit of a back waiting with the, uh, with the cap when it is posted, which is, also a little bit annoying but by no means a problem and put these two side by side and uh, as you can see 
you know, it, the Twisby is now longer than the uh, All Star. If I post the All Star, then you know, obviously that is going to add another inch and a half to the length of the All Star compared to the Twisby. So let's pop that gold pen out of the way and carry on looking at this. Now we have this metal section here which does flare out a tiny bit at the end it is tapered as you can see there are threads and a bit of a step up there and it's quite a short section but my fingers hold that fairly comfortably there it is a little bit slippery I have to warn you if you've got those fingers that slide on metal sections even this satin finish doesn't help much it's quite short and your fingers are going to slip but there is this flare out at the bottom the step up and the threads you do feel them you definitely do feel them but they're smooth it's not uncomfortable but if that's something which is going to bother you then yeah maybe this isn't the pen for you steel twisby nib this is a medium there are other nib widths sizes available um fine medium broad and the likes uh, stub uh, nibs as well and with the decent ink capacity you know this this is a good everyday writer if you're in the market for a pocket pen of this type piston filler relatively affordable it's good I will state once again that the, I, I don't mind the screw cap no problems with that which takes one it takes less than one turn to undo so that that's quite good especially for a pocket pen i like that and it's a secure fit never have any issues with hard starting and the nib drying out because of that cap liner in there but you unscrew it and then you have to screw to post which is always a bit of a bugbear of mine it, it, I, pr I prefer pocket pens where you can just take the cap off and post it rather than screw to post some people like them, but I'm personally not a huge fan of that. So there we have the Twisby AL Mini Gold, and I'll get onto the writing because this is something that I've noticed with Twisby recently in their nibs. And you'll see, perhaps, hopefully, I'm not going to post the pen, I'm going to write with it unposted. Oop, that was a bit of a Hard start because I've been uncapping the pen. Twisby AL Mini in gold with the medium steel Twisby nib. So let's do the writing and uh, talk about this nib. My dog's decided to come and say hello. Hello. What? Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This nib is very, very smooth, no issues whatsoever, mm. and decently wet, medium to wet. What is it? What is it? Sorry, I've just got to deal with this crisis of absolutely no reason whatsoever there's some crisis he's not happy for some reason i'll try and carry on with this review <laughs> oh the joys of i know the joys of uh joys of trying to review fountain pens in the home unfortunately i've got limited resources so i've got to deal with this hope hope you don't mind but he's a cute dog um these nibs twisby nibs I have had many, many Twisby fountain pens over the years which have had medium nibs. I always tend to go for medium Twisby nibs and they are, in my opinion, really, really good and they're usually quite broad and wet for a medium. This is a medium and I would actually go as far to say it's bordering more towards fine which is not really what I wanted. 
I would personally go for a broad with this particular nib. If if I, if this was the first Twisby medium nib I'd tried, I'd probably start going on to broad nibs with Twisby. I don't know whether they've changed something in the last sort of 12 months, but I do find that this nib is marginally fine. You can squeeze more ink out of it, as you can see. Um, it's not a flex nib at all, steel nib, you know, nothing spectacular there. Um, and it lays down the ink without any issues whatsoever. But it is, for me, after the other Twisby medium nibs I've had, this one feels fine and it's a little bit of a disappointment from me, my own personal uh, views. Um, the ink, by the way, is KWZ, KWZ rather, um, Baltic Memories, which is a really nice Baltic Memories, which is a really nice dark blue teal, which smells of vanilla like all the KWZ ink seem to, which is really, really nice. It's not supposed to be scented, but they all smell great. Um, so this nib, I mean, it, 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 it does the job well. It's fine to medium, I'd have said, rather than being a straight medium. Um, and because of that, this pen holds a decent amount of ink. And this pen will write and write and write. And I've used this as, an, as a daily writer for many months now. And... It's, it's great because you don't have to fill it very often. Um, so the, from that point of view, it's, it's fantastic. But I would have actually preferred a slightly broader line with this medium nib. As for reverse writing, it takes it down to an extra fine. It's a little bit on the extra fine. It's a little bit on the dry and scratchy side and it doesn't really keep up particularly well when you are reverse writing but there we go it's a good writer i'm happy with it and i like this gold color i think it's a nice i'd say a, uh, more of a bronzy uh color than straight gold it's not um as you can see compared to the gold version of the lamy all-star not quite as uh as yellow it's more of an orange um, you do have to be careful of the piston filling mechanism because it is quite easy to uh, unscrew that um, when you're uh, when you idly playing with the pen it's something to be aware of um, it does sort of I don't know sort of tighten nicely into place um, but just be aware of that and I think that the grey coloured cap liner actually works quite well with this gold and it's nice as a demonstrator because you can see the ink sloshing around not in this case but um, with the ink you can and of course you get the idea of the ink level you've got a very very good view of the uh, ink level in the barrel there so I like it I think it's a really comfortable little pocket pen uh, shame about the screw to post but as you've seen with the writing sample, it works unposted just as well in my mitts, um, and I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it. So I think that overall the Twisby AL Mini uh, is a very nice fountain pen. This gold is particularly uh, attractive because it's quite an industrial look as well. It looks like um, something you might have on a construction site <laughs> with the yellow and the uh, the black. Uh, nice demonstrator fountain pen, piston filler. These facets, whilst they're not really obvious, are, and you don't really feel them, you, you, it feels like it's just vaguely faceted. Um, they are a nice design feature, I do like that. So there we have the review of the Twisby AL Mini in gold. Do I recommend it? Yes, I actually do. Um, there are some strange little nuances like the slightly fine medium nib, uh, which could just be down to the nib. Nibs are inconsistent. It's very difficult to find extremely consistent nibs. 
um, but it's a smooth good writer it's wet it keeps up there's no issues with the ink flow whatsoever so that I think for the for the money if you're in the market for a piston filling demonstrator pocket fountain pen the Twisby AL Mini is definitely one that uh, you can uh, put on your wish list so thanks very much for watching and I shall see you next time bye